Okay, so hi everybody, this is Soraya. Welcome to my art channel. Today I'm using a 16 by 20 uh, gallery wrapped canvas. It's double thick canvas. Um, and I'm using leftover paint. So I've got a gold, a beautiful metallic blue from Deco Art, uh, a black and a, a light blue. Uh, here's the light blue, just light blue it's called. And what I wanna do is make the blue and gold half of the ca of again, canvas, and then put a drizzle of black and um, the light blue down the middle. And I don't know, let's see what happens. Wish me luck here. So I had high hopes because these colors were gorgeous, but you'll soon see what happens. So yes, I had to scrape it all off and I just wiped it down a little bit and started again. I decided to do it as a white background rather than having the color so that the middle colors running through could really stand out. You know, sometimes I think as fluid artists, we think, oh, let's try this color combination and let's do that. And really, it sometimes it just doesn't work. You have to experiment and I'm glad that I did, but you'll see what happens with this one coming up. If you're a beginner fluid artist, what the best and simplest thing to do is start with three colors. Three colors will get you a beautiful abstract piece of work and something that you could really be proud of. For anyone who's wondering, any of the paint that goes over the edges, I do keep, I put it in a container, I mix them up and I use it with other projects, other paintings. So far, I am loving the simplicity of this beautiful painting. So I'm adding a little bit more color on the one side because I'd blown it out and it felt a little bit lopsided. You could see kind of the ghost-like uh, look to it on the one side and I didn't have it on the other side and I like things to be a little bit more balanced and that's why I added that bit more color. Okay, here it is um, up close and I'm liking it a lot more. Beautiful lacing and some cells as well. I like that blue, light blue and white and black. Very simple. There is a remnant of a little bit of gold in there, which I don't mind. And once it dries, I'm gonna see if it needs anything. If I need to enhance it or not, I'll let you know. So I'll be back here in just one second. So as you can see, the painting dried beautifully and there's that little bit of gold here that runs all the way up here. I don't know if you can see that, you see that? So I'm going to add a little bit more of the gold uh, with this Metallics American Decor 24 karat gold. And I'm gonna add some raw sienna from Liquitex and maybe, some of this pyrrole or pyrrole red from Liquitex again. So let's see what happens. I'm just gonna do very light touch with the colors. I don't wanna overwhelm this painting. This beautiful abstract I think turned out quite lovely. I think it looks really nice on its own. I just wanna add a little bit more just cause I love to embellish and add, enhance, change it up just a little bit. Um, I love the composition of it as well. 
So I'm not going to do too much. But I do want to spread out the colors so that it um, is balanced on the uh, throughout the painting. Maybe some even up here. That's nice. Not too much, eh? <laughs> you could tell I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> But everything that you add to the to the painting should make sense, at least in to you. Think about what you want to do and what why you're doing it. Okay, and I like that. I've moved on to the uh, raw sienna. I just added the tiniest a bit amount, a bit of water um, to really kind of make it more of a stain. Just still using the raw sienna. So you can see that I decided to use that payroll red it really made a big difference in the painting. While I was editing the video, I tried to cut out as little as possible, just the bits where I'm, you know, getting more paint or whatever, uh, so that you could see exactly what I do when I am doing it. I'm finding I don't like this part up here. I'm gonna take some of that off and I can do that. It's fresh. And cut it back just a little bit. That's better. There you go. This comes off real quick and real easy. The paper towel is slightly damp. So I'm going to also use some Liquitex um, titanium white. I'm working on the all important focal point and you can see there's a, a link on the screen now. Click on that. I have a whole video that talks about the importance of it. As you can see, I really take my time. I really respect each painting. Even though this is, for me, a very small painting, I want it to reflect uh, the passion and the love that I have for my work in each and every single piece that I create. I'm gonna add some grayish blue. Adding this grayish blue really gave, really gave it a little bit more depth to it. It adds that variation of the hues, which makes it really interesting as well.
Again, I wet my brush just the tiniest bit. And you see how it just becomes like watercolor. It's so easy to spread. It's like a stain. I'm going to add back in that light blue, just a little bit more. Is there a color combination that you'd like me to try? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you receive all notifications of my new videos. So you can see if when you start off with a base that has minimal color, you can add color, and in the end, this became very colorful, but in a subtle way. And the final addition, I think, is this um, Azo Yellow, Azo Yellow Deep Hue. Wow, what a difference adding this yellow made to the painting. It just brought the whole thing to life. So I guess that was the final edition. No more color. It does have a ton of color as you, as you saw, um, but it really made a big difference adding that bit of yellow, just touches of it. It brightened it up and brought it really to life. I'm super happy the way it looks. I've got up close images coming up and click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores.